Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the woman's strawy bout, not strawy, flyway bout between Aaron Blanchfield versus Molly McCann. And I don't know why I keep rubbing my face on. I've got to, I'm hiding the burp, but we're going to do it on camera. We don't all lie. We fam. Let's do it. <coughs> Excuse me. Unprofessional, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> Aaron Blanchfield versus Molly McCann. I'm going high confidence Aaron Blanchfield to beat Molly McCann. And how I feel about this one is Molly McCann has a clear track record. She had like, what, like 0-6, 0-4, at least, at the very least, 0-3 against better grapplers. That's who has beat her time and time again. I'm not even going off the whole list, but I'm about to go off the list for a second. I was like, start to visualize it or put it together, but I had already seen her, you know, fight. I don't really dig it up. I've seen her fight. I've seen her record on examine on time and numerous times, like looking at her fights. And she's looking good right now because she's getting fights for the win. They were giving her the Patty Pimblet, um, Molly McCann duo promotion where they were giving them both can both cans to look good against and put them on the same card together. But now they starting to believe in it too much and they're giving her a jump. No disrespect to Molly McCann. She might potentially win this one. My head would have spinning back fist. I'm like, hey, I upset. But just based off track record, that's the most important thing in the world. Well, one of the most important things in the world are in this game is patterns and track work. And her track worker is to get thoroughly dominated or losing, not even thoroughly, because like, the Procopio fight, she did have a good little comeback. I think another fight, she had a decent little attempt. But yeah, Talos Santos, Procopio, she had little slim moments in some of those fights. But still, ultimately, record is undefeated, I mean, not defeated, winless against better grapplers, winless against better grapplers. So, um, Blanchfield again, the, I feel the better grappler, I feel striking-wise, you could say a tall, I feel like with the, the improvements Molly McCann has been making with her striking her game, I feel like she is the better boxing, pure boxing, I'll probably pick her high confidence to beat Blanchfield in a striking matchup. But again, this is MMA, and I go with the grappling and the overall game, and I feel like Blanchfield should be able to win this one. Now I'm going to say probably submit her, I'm going to say like second round submission. Probably be a little close contested first round, but once um, Blanchfield was able to get the ground, get some control, I feel like the fight just started to downhill from there. Blanchfield only gains confidence, and Molly McCann only becomes more he hesitant, more fatigued, starts to think more, process more, and slow down. Then Blanchfield starts to get off on the striking more. Then she starts to set up the takedown smoother. Then from there, it just starts to cut through her like butter, probably take her back, lock it in, then go for the rear, like to set the rear naked choke up, tap her up second round. So... In this one, I have Aaron Blanchfield via second round submission. 